Hello everyone and welcome to Highway Academy. In this video, we are going to be looking at a huge update to Dynamo. Dy Dynamo has been updated to Dynamo 3.2. So in 2025, went from 3.0 to 3.2. And this update has over 1,000 nodes that have been added. I think it's the biggest update I can mention for Dynamo. By the end of this video, you are going to know all the new enhancements regarding Dynamo. Otherwise, let's find out after the intro. When you open up the new Dynamo um, in 2025.1, the first thing you're going to realize is they have really improved um, the home surface. Uh, this almost resembles the traditional 3D, civil 3D open up surface. So you have everything as you have seen it and all. So if you go back to the old Dynamo, you can see the difference. So there's a difference between the way elements were laid out. It was kind of something that was very confusing and all. But right now, I mean, just look at that. It has mirrored the new, it has got the dark mode look and all. So I think I really like the new look. Then the first enhancements you can see is, um, which is very important, is when we click about our Dynamo core is now at version 3.2. Now, not all the features of Dynamo 3.2 have been brought in, but a number of them have. So the feature that has been brought in that came out in Dynamo 3.1 is the ability to use a template. Have you ever been in these situations? I can give you a number. Uh, I'm going to just open up this, a node. And as this opens up, by the way, when Dynamo was updated in version 2025.1, they added over 30, 30 sample graphs. So the sample graphs include your own tutorials. They show you maybe how to do something. And you can just open up those graphs that uh, kind of explain to you how um, uh, different nodes are being used. Now, what you're going to find here is that one of the features I really hated with the old Dynamo and used to get frustrating is when I wanted to use, let's say, elements. For example, I like the naming of this, but when I'm starting a new script, I don't want to repeat the whole process. So always I had to do was copy these nodes uh, copy them and then um, for example I would select all these nodes copy them go to go to my new template I'm working in and paste them but now there's there's an option of why you can save this as a template so if you want so if you want you can save this and it's okay and the other thing is you can do is you can now select this I'm going to select open template no. And you can save the templates in this folder, Dynamo this template. So what happens is in that folder, you can maybe strip out some of the nodes. You can maybe strip out a number of the things that you don't like, and then you can open up this template drawing. This makes it very, very easy. So just a quick demonstration of that is um, I can maybe say, okay, I, I don't really need these nodes um, when I'm working, and I, I just really need this. So I can save this and drop it in the template. Um, I'm going to save that. So when I open this up as a template, what's going to happen is now I have a starting template that I can work with. And um, the beauty with this is every time when I click open template, it takes me to the template folder. So you could have a template for nodes that have to do with maybe hydrology, nodes that have to do with highways, nodes that have to do with bridges, nodes that have to do with this. Because again, I don't have to look for the structure, this and that and that. This is um, a, a, a huge time saving. Now, the other feature that you notice they've improved in Dynamo is the way the nodes are laid out. So you can see the AutoCAD nodes are laid out based on how they are used. So for example, you're dealing with layers. These are the nodes for layers. If you're dealing with objects and if you're dealing with blocks, in Civil 3D, if you're dealing with, for example, pipes that I'm very excited about, pipe networks, if you're dealing with bridges, if you're dealing with alignments. If you go back to the old um, and which, you can see how things were laid out. We had civil objects and we had selection. And then afterwards we went through that. But now they've removed that extra layer and made it direct and it's easier to understand. And what you're going to notice is they've added new icons and the way things are, they have new icons that uh, make this fresh. You can see 
the bridges have bridges icon and all that. It makes it really fancy and really nice if you're using this. So it's something that uh, is really good um, regarding this. Now, another thing that they have updated um, in Dynamo that I mentioned earlier is how you manage packages. This was in Civil 3D 2025, and you just easily update the packages and all. So as I mentioned, there are now a number of nodes. For example, before we had to use a Civil 3D toolkit for us to use pipe, pipe network nodes, and stay tuned for this. Uh, but right now, man, we have a number of nodes that can help us. We can add a pipe by name, and we can choose all these others. So they've added a number of nodes that um, we'll go into detail um, regarding to how they work. So again, the other thing that we mentioned is a number of nodes that have been added. So if we go through the corridor um, and assembly, the number of nodes that have been added regarding assemblies, corridors, and again, I'm going to put like a link in the description to explain all the 1,000 nodes that have been added. But in the future coming videos, we're going to go through most of, most of these nodes. The reason is most of the scripts that we had created now have to be updated because we've been waiting for this update. Um, this update is so big and we believe that it's kind of going to change the way Dynamo is functioning right now in Civil 3D because we didn't have a number of nodes in Civil 3D. We had to create this from scratch. So stay tuned. We have more videos that are coming out regarding this, these new nodes of Civil 3D Dynamo and there's going to be a different video for just the new nodes. So we shall be going through different case studies that are explaining the different nodes. Otherwise, check out other videos talking about Civil 3D 2025.1 updates. Otherwise, hope to see you in the next video.